Hello students and welcome to the next lesson in our AS Level Physical Geography course. Today we're going to learn about meltwater channels. Types of meltwater channels. A meltwater channel is a stream or a river which flows down the valley which originates from a glacier's meltwater. They can be subglacial channels, which is meltwater channels that flow under a glacier which forms at the base. This happens because there's increased pressure on the glacier so the base of it melts. Ice marginal channels are meltwater channels that flow along the sides of the glacier. These are located between the glacier and the valley. They form due to increased pressure, so they're effectively subglacial channels but located on the sides. We can also have proglacial channels, and these are meltwater channels that flow in front of the glacier, and these form due to rising temperatures. Characteristics of meltwater streams A meltwater stream has more erosive power compared to that of a normal river because they flow faster due to the glacier's pressure. The meltwater channels source material as it gets deposited. Large particles are deposited earlier and smaller particles later. This is because as the river moves down the valley, it loses energy, so it can only carry the smaller particles. This then leaves sorted sediment and can form features such as outwash plains. They can also be braided. If the channel loses all its energy, it will dump it, and as a result we can get rivers falling kind of moving through these um, dumped areas of sediment to form braided channels. Glacial overflow channels. This is a stream caused by the meltwater from the glacier. The stream has a lot of erosive power. How it begins is firstly the meltwater is obstructed by an object in the valley. Then the meltwater builds up behind this object and forms a proglacial lake. Now do remember that this meltwater stream is trying to move forward and it's still moving in a way to try and get uh, um, across the object but it's blocking it. So eventually the proglacial lake is going to increase in size and its pressure is going to increase because more and more water is going to try and burst through this object. Eventually it will do so and it's going to erode the object away completely. Now this huge mass of water is going to rush forward at a great rate through the valley. It has so much erosive power that it leaves a gorge in the valley. For example, Lake Lapworth. Here are some questions on meltwater channels. Answer these on another sheet of paper by pausing the video to give yourself time. Hit play whenever you're ready to see the answers. Here are the answers. If you got these right, congratulations. I'd advise you to move on to the next video, which will be on outwash plains. Thanks for watching and good luck in your exams.